Hello and welcome back, as always, my name is Lazar and today we're back in Heroes of the Storm with Sylvanas, Windrunner, Queen of the Forsaken. But in this case we got this Sugar Plum thing. Now the Sugar Plum skin is a special edition uh, seasonal holiday Christmassy skin, so it will become available soon again. Uh, pick it up if you so desire. You also got this cool reindeer with a whore tattoo on his bum. Gotta have... Reindeer with her tattoo on his bum. Anyway, the teams. Silvana says what I'm Ragnaros, Stukov and Tirandia on the enemy side. Anna, Sergeant Hammer, Regar, Nova, and Abby. And this is Selecu, so be careful. Talent on level 1, Overflowing Quiver. We're gonna talk a bit about Silvana. Now, once upon a time, she was my favorite hero. No questions about it. I don't know if I should teleport. Nah, nah, nah. I was fearful of teleporting there. Uh, but then the rework came and I kind of lost faith in Sylvanas. I didn't really quite like what they did with the whatchamacallit with the rework. But that doesn't mean that Sylvanas is not a potent kind of hero. Oh, damn it. Almost lost him there. Let's destroy this little mine thing. And a W onto him. Oh, wow. Ever since the rework, he can't, like, faceplant Sergeant Hammer anymore. So that's worth taking into account. Now, Sylvanas is a very unique hero. She's the only one that can stop towers in their tracks. Oh, we gotta be careful here. I don't like the situation one bit, to be honest. No, and the Abbey Mines, I'm out of here. Yeah, we're just gonna go back, get full on everything. Uh, do we have a support? Yes, we have double support, but both of them are on top lane. Ideally, what you wanna do with a Sylvanas is stick together on a single lane at the start of the game so you can get a tower. That's 400 easy mode XP. And if you can soak another lane while you're doing that, all the better. So... Uh, like I said, she's a very unique hero. She has the ability to stop towers in their tracks. Now, considering the fact that very, very soon, uh, towers, forts, keeps, stuff like that will have infinite ammo, I believe that Sylvanas will uh, grow in strength even more. That's just my um, opinion, okay? I can't say it really far about it all that much, but yeah, please keep that in mind. Um, other than that... She's very important on maps such as this one, with a decent team composition, simply because she can uh, stop towers in their tracks, that means the Immortal doesn't take unnecessary damage. She also has a talent at level 7, which is called Barb Shot, that will increase uh, your team's DPS against monsters like this one a whole lot. So definitely a very interesting kind of hero. She also has an escape for the form of her E ability, uh, Banshee Wave. Unfortunately, the Banshee Wave is kind of a roundabout way of doing things, in the sense that... It's not instant, okay, it takes a while for the Banshee Wave to get into position, then you gotta teleport. So it's not necessarily the most reliable escape in the world. Now let's talk Sylvanas and damage. Early game Sylvanas is an absolute de hero damage monster, as well as Siege. Uh, she kind of falls off towards middle, towards late game, but early game definitely Sylvanas can pork out hero damage like a truck. Alright, how are we doing? Are we gonna win this, boys? I'm even gonna waste my ba uh, Banshee Wave over here. Not that it does a lot of damage, but just a, that little bit extra to get uh, some bigger shields. Now, what I wanna do as a Sylvanas... Oh, wow, that's a lot of mines. That's a lot of little mines. Here comes Rhaegar. I'm asleep. There's a Nova in play as well there. Good amount of damage on the Rhaegar. Should I be teleporting? I don't know, but I'm gonna make a little teleport. And we're gonna pick up our next talent at level 4. And it's gonna be Lost Soul. We're gonna get lower cooldown for our W ability when we hit heroes with it. Oh, good focus, good focus there. But I prefer to be with the Immortal because I am Sylvanas. Windrana. Queen of the Forsaken and all that good stuff. Alright, let's get it going. Sergeant Hammer being seated up is a problem. Ragnaros might hit the dirt. I'm gonna W onto him because I think it will reach the tower as well. Yes, it will. And that means a little bit less damage there. Onto the enemy, onto our Immortal. W once again, to spread, very good amount of damage, not gonna be enough, and we're gonna be backing away. Now, early game, you do have slight mana issues, nothing you should really be concerned about too much. Come over here, guys. Hey, they're coming, awesome randoms, nice, nice. Don't you just love randoms that actually listen? It's a rare breed, what? Alright, we're gonna get this right then, quick. Alright, we're good here. Now we should start pushing. Again, Sylvanas is a pushing monster and you should use that to your advantage as much as you possibly can. Very unique hero, like I said before. Nothing really feels quite like Sylvanas. Oh, oh Nabby, can we, can we? Ah, no, he wised up and ran away. But we are gonna be able to get this fort without any problem, mostly because of Sylvanas. Now I can focus you down. Is she getting back up? I don't know if she is, but I am focusing on her. Stooky. Thing, which you I don't think I'm gonna have enough. No, I won't have enough. Pah, really? 
Oh, come on, man. <laughs> she wasn't even close to there. All right, that's taken care of. Now we should rotate on to the bottom lane and do pretty much the same thing. Now I'm gonna run for some Abbey crap, guarantee it. Uh, you go first, Tuko. Good amount of damage on here. We're gonna pick up our next talent ad. This level is gonna be barb shot. Like I said, this is an amazing talent. If that stun lands, W's on Tura, got a lot of damage. Yeah, God damn. Come on, just hit him. Atta boy. Atta boy. We're gonna go back simply because of mana, not because of health. I would could have gotten enough health from the double supports I have, but yeah, we're gonna go back. Now I did wanted to say something on level one, and I didn't quite get the chance because things were happening. Um, in my humble point of view, her level one talents are a bit inconsequential. They don't really carry a whole lot of impact, and I would like to see something being done about that, if at all possible. Oh come on, boys, we got barb shot. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, once upon a time she did have better talents at level 1 and there's also a bit of a problem with Sylvana. She doesn't really have that much build diversity. There's one clear cut way to build Sylvanas. And what's the point of talents if I'm just gonna pick the same old same old over and over again? Where's the diversity? And I would like to see that especially at level 1. All of those talents are so... Yuck, meh. You know, with or without them there's not that much of a difference. Like I said before, inconsequential. Uh, where we don't have a tank and pushing into hammer kind of sucks. Thankfully, we do have the Tiran there that can help a little. I did spread my love onto them, but I don't think we're gonna be able to push in here. It is good to fight over the enemy team immortal simply because, in the process, the, theoretically, their immortal should still be taking damage. That's a lot of good damage there. I'm onto Anna. We're backing away from this as Modung taking tons of damage and we're not able to push in there. Especially not in the 4v5, but Ragnaros is up. What? Is this the real one? Can't be the... I was thinking it's a clone, but it couldn't be a clone. Oh, over right there. Over right there. Over right here. Not the real one. Not the real one. The, 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 the one in the back. The one, always the one that's fucking running. Yeah, that one. Okay, we got our healing on. Uh, Tiranda a little bit out of position there. She tried to go for the kill. Rhaegar tries to punish her, but we're back in play with Ragnaros. W onto him. We're gonna use our e ability to teleport, and that's gonna be a double kill for our side. And now we should be able to turn this immortal into means me. Hold ready for Marshawn. Now, as you can see, I'm running low on mana again, but we're full level in front. Uh, the question is, will these globes be enough for me or not? see what is that 20% mana it's kind of low but I do have a fountain so I'm gonna head straight down the bottom lane uh, always look on the minimap for the little plus icon to see if you have your fountain now I know most of you guys know the stuff I'm saying but there's other other new players that would like to know this stuff so or maybe they don't maybe they know maybe you've been playing 5,000 games and you still don't know Who knows? what no shame in that I'm gonna stop these towers oh god oh god oh come on I want to stop it but I can't very well stop Use my e ability to do damage. Okay, we're gonna pick up our heroic ability. Gotta be wailing get on doing the wailing get on Silvana Tiranda was in the I did it because I thought Ah, oh, I didn't know what you were up to. That's kinda cool. If I knew what you were up to, I would have Damn it. I would have used it on the Abbey and then for sure we would have gotten a kill. But as you can see this is a split push. We got two of our guys up on the top lane. Uh Ragnaros and Asmo Dukes. Stop the towers, stop the towers. Try to stop both of them, always. Come on, it's not that hard. You know, use your Q ability to stop one and basic attacks to stop the other. That's what you should be doing in such a situation. Level 11 versus level 9. I don't have a heroic because I was silly and I wasted it. Oh, almost. I like the Tiranda. She's focused. She's, she wants to do one thing. Kill the fucking Abby. Gotta respect that. Gotta respect that. Stukov knocks uh, Sergeant Hammer away and we are winning. Now, make no mistake. This is mostly because of Sylvanas and her power. On this specific map in particular. She is a monster. And you should respect the power of Sylvanas here. If you can't get a Sylvanas on this map. It's best to ban it out. And this it has been like this for like forever I believe. Now obviously Sylvanas cannot stop for... Uh, what is it? Core. Core. Yes. Oh come on Tira. Tira. Ha. Bash. Ha. There we go. Don't you love it when you can like... Understand with your teammates without any actual raging and flaming. I Gotta love it. it. These guys are playing ball and I definitely love that. Alright, it doesn't happen every day. What? Let me enjoy it. No. Level 9 to 12. It's an absolute stompage, baby. Here's the damage. Here's some talents. If you guys are interested, I will try to remember to show them to you at the end. I know I kind of fail at that sometimes. Alright, we're gonna pick up our talent at level 13. Uh, life train sometimes can be good. <laughs> <coughs> 
Okay. Sorry. So live frame sometimes can be good. But Windrunner is the meta and what we're gonna be picking up. We're gonna be able to use our E ability twice and each time we teleport. Um, we're gonna get full stacks back on Withering Fire. So you wanna empty your Withering Fire. E teleport, Withering Fire empty. E teleport, Withering Fire empty. You get it? Let's go. Let's go. No, 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 There we go. Oh, look. There's a mule there. I'm gonna teleport here, like so, because I'm Sylvanas, I can. I can teleport back if I want to reposition like so, I'm Sylvanas, I'm okay. Good amount of damage there, onto Rhaegar, he's staying around and taking damage. Silence the hammer so he can't use his uh, get out of town card, my W is down to him, that's gonna guarantee the kill, Rhaegar takes damage from the lava wave, I'm staying in, I'm staying in. Kill, double kill for Sylvanas, kill that clone too, give me the clone kill, I want to kill the clone. Why? I don't know, I just want that's gonna be easy mode GG's and I'm not trying to post stomps. I'm honestly not. But if you go in quick match, usually it goes one of two ways. Either I stomp or I get stomped. Would you like to see me get stomped? Are you that kind of people? Come on. I'm human too. I have feelings to trust me. Even though it may not look it. Anyway, GG. Thank you guys for watching. Like, favorite channel, subscribe if you enjoy the content. As for Sylvanas, you gotta play Sylvanas. She's so unique from my point of view. Definitely pick it up. The skin will be available uh, these holidays if you're interested in the whole sugar plum thing. Definitely go for it. And give Sylvanas a try. She's not that hard to play. I believe that the hardest thing you can do with Sylvanas is kind of get to grips with her double E's. Okay, teleport with ring fire, teleport with ring fire. Didn't really get the chance to show you that all too well this game. But it's not that difficult. Mostly anybody can do it. Though it would help if you guys had like decent FPS. Final stats. Here you go. Final talents. And I'll see you boys tomorrow. Uh... I should at least say what are the rest of the talents you would pick up. Okay, so at 13, as you saw there, uh, Windrunner, Life Train, can't be good. No, no, really just go for uh, Windrunner, definitely, and get used to the teleporting thingy. At level 16, now this one, I would recommend you guys pick up Cold Embrace, Shadow Dagger lowers armors. You know the old vulnerable effect, this is pretty much what this is. Evasive Fire, I used to love this talent because it gives you so much mobility and I can dance around opponents so well, especially considering I'm gonna be teleporting all over the place with Rind Runner, so I absolutely love Evasive Fire. But I love it on a different tier, Blizzard, if possible. Not here, why can't we get this at level 1? It's not that impactful to be at level 16, but ah, that's just my thoughts. Level uh, 20, Deafening Blast. Deafening Blast is not as impactful as a level 20 upgrade to a heroic should be from my point of view. You should absolutely go for Bolt of the Storm. One of the few heroes, I, I don't even know. She might even be the last one that has Bolt of the Storm. It's a uh, insta-blink. A uh, decent gap to it, okay, it's not as small uh, as others, so it can get you in a bad situation, or it can get you out of a bad situation, and that's it. As always, my name has been Lazar, thank you for watching, see you guys tomorrow.